this where things hit the fan? I hope so. I've only got two minutes left. Huh? Blood. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the Month of Discovery. This is going down to the wire, folks. Today is Persona 3 Portable. Never played a Persona game in my life, and I mean that, too. So why not try now? I mean, I was probably gonna get down to it eventually. May, may as well try it. Welcome to the world of P3P. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. By choosing a male, a male main character, you will be able to play a version very close to the original Persona 3. This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience Persona 3. The female main character added to this game is not just for female players. She's also for veterans of P3 and P3 FAS who want a new perspective. Now please choose a gender. Well, I guess I'll go with the guy since I've never played Persona in my life. Begin the story as the male main character, yes. Next, choose a difficulty setting. Will not influence the storyline, choose a difficulty level that fits your comfort level. For advanced players who are used to devising their own tactics, battles are more difficult. This is the most difficult mode is for highly advanced players. Much more difficult, nothing is carried over from one playthrough to the next. You will be able to enjoy the tension of the original P3 for players without time to devote to battle tactics. Okay, for experienced gamers. For advanced players, let's go with normal. I'm boring. You'll not be able to change difficulty after this. Proceed to normal mode, yes. Sorry for being boring. Now please enjoy the game. Characters, art, and storylines depicted in the game are purely the work of fiction, you know, that whole thing. If they look like someone you might know in the real world, it's a coincidence. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, my son, with your heart as your guide. I added the your son, my son part. <laughs> Just because. It, it felt like that kind of thing, you know? Terminal Station, evening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere... <sighs> I just... put it to my head. Ah, uh, okay, there is voice acting here. Pull the trigger. Oh, jeez. No chickening out. Please chicken out. Don't do it. No, I can't. Inside the New City Passenger Train, Anna Hazaro. Malfunction in the switching system. Today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who were in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Okay then. Very well then. Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. Sounds fun. Choo-choo, you arrived late. It's almost midnight. Midnight. Dong. Do not feed before midnight. Or after midnight. Wh whichever, something to do with midnight. Everything is turning huh? green. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Unless you want to die. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. Deserted city. You'll, ne you'll be next. Rest assured. Buddy boy.
and a green sky and a yellow moon. It's an eerily gigantic moon. Because the colors aren't eerie at all. Surrounded by toxic green clouds. Then again, maybe that's just the color scheme because the windows are very yellow too. Get going in high school. I'm butchering the names. I want to die dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Good for it. Dark Welcome. hour. Welcome. Who are you? You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Creepy. Especially with the way that sprite glitched. It's probably the emulator doing that. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. <laughs> that the emulator is making it unintentionally more disturbing than it needs to be because of the fact that his sprite is glitching. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. What actions, exactly? Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I choose it this fate of mine own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. What fate are we talking about, huh? Freak. The Gaming Junkie. That will be nice. You know what? Since there's a space here... <laughs> the Gaming colon Junkie. Why not? I don't know, for some reason that just looks interesting. Interesting enough for me to do it. Proceed? Yes. Almost like the joke Very the well. subtitle. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. Oh, that's creepy. And so it begins. Creepy. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Are you alright, miss? Don't tell me. The girl's holding something that looks like a gun. Whoa, lady! Hey, lady! Um, careful there! And nobody has to get hurt here. Wait! <gasps> Yeah, please don't right. shoot this guy. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi. I'm Yukari. The one who tried to shoot you in the face. Don't worry about it. Why do you have a gun? Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. It's a hobby for you to kill people randomly. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. So, is it a fake toy gun, or is it a taser? I mean, I, I kind of got to figure this out first. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Okay. Dormitory second floor hallway at the furthest door. This is it. For some reason, he got assigned to the girls' dorm. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So... Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Oh, what's this contract for? Huh? What's this about a contract? What contract? Yukaro doesn't seem to know what you're talking um, about. Can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Well, there were coffins littering the street, but I just assume that's business as usual. Uh, what do you mean? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're all right. Well, I better get going. Thanks. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Okay. Good night. Thanks. 
it's so nice. Hikari, walk down the stairs. This is your assigned room. For only God knows why, use the directional buttons or analog stick to move the cursor. Hold down the circle button to make the cursor move faster. Also press the R button to display all the icons that can be accessed. Press the R button again to hide the icons. Press the triangle button to access config, erase data, load data, and title screen. Lovely. What the hell? For some reason it won't let me go left and right. Well now I can. Also I'm pretty sure this is copywritten music so let's just get rid of that. The mirror reflects your regular face. I mean I hope it's a regular face. If you are tired today you should go to bed early. If you are tired today you should go to bed early. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a daily day game, I remember that much. You are tired today, you should go to bed early. Sleep. Well, good night, everybody. Kinda. Open the door, ignore her. You know what? I'm not gonna ignore her, I just wanna see what'll happen. you and better not ignore her. But that never happened, thankfully. Open the door. Thanks. I'm ready. Sure, why not? She seems nice. Always good to have a friend. Inside the New City passenger train, Anna Hazaru, Probably not. It, uh, it is pretty nice, isn't it? Or at least it would be if it wasn't so blurry. Alright. Very interesting. Pretty cool. like a pretty typical Japanese school, or at least a typical anime school. Thanks. Judging by everything that happened so far, I'm sure I will. Probably. Thanks. Sure, let's see what we can ask her. Which class are you in? What, the gun? There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Press the square button to select an area and go there immediately. Please make use of this function to move around. Oh, I never did turn the desktop audio back on. Shit. Sorry about that. Male student, female student. Two students are talking. Hey Cass, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find somewhere to change into normal clothes. Uh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit learning me like that. Hey, where's the bulletin board with the homerooms posted? It's right there, your class F, Cass. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. Huh, I worry about you sometimes. For some reason, left and right still don't work. Oh, the faculty office? Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. Here's the bulletin board. Class rosters are posted. You can't find your name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. The Gaming Junkie, Class F. You look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takebe is also on the list. It seems you'll be in the same room as her. How convenient. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. Where are their teachers? We've lived longer than them. But M Moriyama and her gang had to pull that on me at the beginning of our term. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. All right, I get it. 
You want me to order more of these cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. Who are you? Hi there, welcome. Ah, uh, don't do anything. I'll talk to her. Hmm, you seem interested in what we've got on sale. You must be a new student. I don't have enough bread for everyone, so if you want some, come early. I don't have any customers once school's out, so I can't sell that much. Don't do anything. Where's class F? That might be helpful to know. First floor hallway. You should go to the faculty office. Okay, fair enough. First floor hallway. Yep, this seems to be the faculty office, or near faculty. Just gotta find it. Um, is that a samurai helmet? Library. Nurse's office. Faculty office. Here we go. It's a faculty office. Enter. Oh, are you the new student? Yeah, apparently. The gaming junkie. 11th grade, correct? The teacher is flipping their pages in a, wow, in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Looks like it. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> 1999 bees are summer. I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, such enthusiasm. Hey, you gotta be enthusiastic, otherwise you'll never make it. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. Oh, that's good. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. That's good. Follow me. Thanks. I mean, I can just follow you the whole way there, since I'm going to be in your As class anyway. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Words to live by, when huh? When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Hey. The student behind you is trying to get your attention. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Yeah? I saw you two walking together. What of it, pal? Hey, I have a question. What? Do you know if she has a boyfriend? No. Or maybe it's me. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Maybe. Obviously not yet, but maybe they'll get together. I mean, it seems like something that would happen in this game. I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. You hear lots of people talking. Early morning, after school. Oh, we're just gonna skip through all of school. Homeroom is over. Your first after school session is about What's to up, begin. What's up, dude? How's it going? What's up, man? Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I too. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. Pretty cool, man. I know how tough it is being the new kid. I get you. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're such a nice guy, all right. Hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. I get the feeling this video is going to be copyright flagged no matter what I do. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. It's all right, he's cool. If you say so. He's cool, I don't mind it. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Yeah, it's almost as if this is a video game. Yeah, I know, it must be fate. Let's be philosophical. Fate? Yeah, right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What of it? What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? She's just showing me around. What, what of it? You got a problem with that, pal? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Yeah, hey. seriously. Kinda weird. You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what? Did you? No. Uh, you know what? Don't tell me you forgot already! Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? You never told me what not to say about, sorry. 
Wh what? L last night. W wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. What a bunch of weirdos, huh? Always getting the wrong idea. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. She's talking about you, big guy. At least uh, I think. Who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Uh, I guess? Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! Thanks. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. You decided to go home with Junpai. Whoa. Check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You mean a literature club? Okay, I, that was. You'd too be much. joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpai as you went home. After school, evening. Whatever. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. You can save your game with the sign-in sheet. Welcome back. Thanks. Let's go for the sign-in sheet, even though technically I could just... <laughs> I could just do this. Um. Okay, for some reason it's not working. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is that song again kind of a weird song. You really shouldn't go be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. I'm surprised she's wor concerned about me. Go back to your room. Will you go back to your room for today? Go back. If you feel tired, you should go get some rest. I don't even know why I'm muting this. It's probably no point anyway. Later at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuri was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. You do that. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? Huh. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. I guess nothing is going to happen yet. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Technically! <laughs> oh, you gotta love it when someone says something like that. Look, life ain't a cartoon. And it sure as hell in a handbasket ain't no game. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No, not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming. It's coming! How ah, about that? You don't believe me? The first bell is rung. Afternoon. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at our first novel by Kenzu Kasai. Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubu Kubanta. He's become fame. He became same famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kabata's book next time. Hey, Junpai, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh huh. Um. What, who does she like? <laughs> okay, I'll help you out this time, pal. That's all. That's right. You so you weren't listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know I like to pay attention. Man, you saved my bacon, V Gaming. You hear your classmates whispering. V Gaming gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. But <laughs> you get popular for paying attention in class? Well. This is not realistic at all. Class is ended for today. There's nothing to do, so you decide to go back to the dorm. I don't have a choice, do I? Thou must. The dormitory lounge. Yukari is already here talking with an unfamiliar oh, man. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Hey there. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. All right. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? 
Nikutsky? Eh, not really. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. Uh, However, no problem. it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Okay, then. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Okay, why are you here? Who else lives here? The other night I saw... Who else lives here? There were only four students in this door. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I see. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Who's the fourth guy? Fourth person. The other night I saw... You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I bullshit me, all right. Something doesn't Do seem Do you right. have another question? Uh, who else lives here? Uh, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Well, I've asked all of them. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Why do you want me to go to bed early? I can understand if I wanted to go to bed early. That's a little much, don't you think, sir? As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Oh, that's cute. Are you saying that I'm going to catch the people who are bookworms? Wouldn't it be you become a bird bookworm? Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. His lame jokes that make no sense. You should rest for today. You decided to return to your room and sleep. Later at a certain room in the dormitory. Uh -oh. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Oh, great. They're up to something. And there's sinister music. Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. AJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. Until they're not. The time is now midnight. That's great. Midnight again. Spooky. Is this where things hit the fan? I hope so. I've only got two minutes left. Huh? Blood. What the? It's blood. What's happening to me? <laughs> he dead. Back in a certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Well, at least there's a hint of what's going on. Maybe I should play more of this, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to get copyright flagged. Oh, well, I shouldn't complain about that. Master. Master V Gaming Junkie. If it's interesting enough. 3D? Now that can't be. Here I thought it was just a visual novel. <laughs> Obviously not. Oh, I see. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. 
She's a resident here, like myself. Okay, then. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Unfortunately, I'm out of time, so once this is over... Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Well, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the world between time and space, and I will see you next time. Look out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Iker. Henceforth. You shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Okay. I understand. Hold on to this. Velvet Till we meet again. Thank you. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. I guess we're going to the next day, huh? See you later, you felt like you had a strange dream. And I felt like I'm leaving right now. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.